the most recent book I read was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Um, he's the guy who wrote The Martian, the, the, the film with Matt Damon. This book was, was published, I think, 2021. It's, uh, it's already, I think they've already bought the rights for it to be a film. Uh, and although I could talk about it at length, I don't want to, uh, because it's, it's one of those books where I think you should read it. And I think if you do read it, you should know nothing about it. So don't read the blurb. Don't look it up on Goodreads. Just read it or listen to it on Audible or however else you listen to um, to your books um, is preferable. The reason for that is um, there's there's a kind of a couple of scenes that I think are, are quite a lot of scenes that are better told through a narrator than they are um, read. I won't go into any more detail than that, but the narrator is good. He's not that annoying. Um, I think he brings something to it anyway. Um, and if you, the only thing I would say about the book is I, it's, it's, it kind of, it leans towards the hard science. Now I'm not, I'm not good enough at science to know how accurate it is. Um, I think there were some, some questions over the kind of scientific accuracy in the Martian. So maybe this is, has gone through to Project Hail Mary. I don't know. Even if you don't really like hard science, you can kind of ignore it as well. There were there were concepts that I just he kind of described and I just didn't really care about. Um, and it, you know, even not so. Therefore, even even those bits that I didn't really understand, it didn't really affect it. It's good. It's funny. I think you should read it. It's it, it, the only thing is, you know, if you're looking for a very serious book. With very heavy themes and um, subtext and those kind of things. This book has some, but it's not that. It's just not that type of book. It's more entertaining. It's 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 somewhere along the pulpy lines, but it's good. I think I think it's worth your time, um, and I think they're going to make it into a film, apparently starring Ryan Gosling. Um, so yeah, give it a read.